Hello everyone, it's Carla here. Today I'll be sharing my design team project for Elegant Embellishments. Before I do that, I just wanted to show you this is the new name sign that I made for um, my design team whenever I present uh, a design team project. Um, so just really quick, this frame, it used to be teal and so I was able to gesso it and use watered down blacks and whites to create this stone effect on the outside. So let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. So I, I really liked the effect it had on uh, the frame. And then up top here, this is one of Dee's cherubs and they're, they come in a cream color, like a light ivory cream color. And so what I was able to do is put a little bit of gesso on it and then do the same exact technique I did for the frame. And um, I dried it with my heating tool right away. And it I really love the way it turned out. You can see how the color just took to all the little crevices. And it just gives so much definition to this angel. I did add a little stickles on top. Then this flower here... Um, this lace is from Dee's shop. This is one of her bridal laces. And then this is the ruffle trim, um, trim 12, and one of the Roxy Berry flower centers in the center. And then down here, I took another one of her trims and just alternated it with some of this beading. The background has a lot of glitter going on. <laughs> I might cover that up. Um, later but for now that's what I'm sticking with. The inner frame I have this trim from my stash and then this rhinestone chain is actually from Dee's shop and it's really versatile because it's so thin and very flexible you could use it for a lot of different things and so I thought it worked really well there. And then down here um, I created this heart by using um, one of the heart pieces that D sells and you can see how big they are. Um, it This particular one comes in a rose color so I gessoed that um, just roughly so that <clears throat> excuse me some of the pink color underneath showed through and then I stickled it a little bit. <clears throat> the wings here belong to a metal filigree piece that I was able to get from D, and so I took them off the flower and adhered them to this heart and I really love how that turned out. So here's my um, design team name frame name piece that I'm going to be using. And so now let me show you the project I created. Okay so this is a shadow box that I bought and here's the overall effect of it. Um, so I'm just going to start at the top and work my way down. The flower I created just by using, first of all, I had a doily for my stash. And then this trim is the Miranda trim that Dee has. It's lace number seven. Um, so I was able to cut these little things apart and just um, adhere them in a circle. And then this cream stretched lace is um, trim number four. And it's really great to work with, and I love how vintage it looks. And then the Roxy Berry Flower Center. Um, on the edge here, this trim, um, this is trim number five. And so I was able to put that all around the entire edging of the frame. And it's actually really soft. Like this, this netting is really soft down here. And let me see if I could zoom in a little bit. The lace that's underneath, underneath um, I was able to put all around the frame as well. And let's see. That lace, I do have it written down, and I'm going to have to come back to that. Um, but this is the lace that I used with all these little flowers on it. And so that's what I put underneath this one. Um, sorry about that. Okay, now moving inside. I apologize if there's a glare. 
Okay, so I took this lace here, and um, this is WL014 is the name of it, and it's really great. So it's it's pretty wide, you can see, and so I was able to layer it um, once inside and then again here, and so um, at the end I'll show you the effect it has um, if you didn't get a chance to see that just now. So I put that all over the inside. And then inside the shadow box, so I'll start from the top here. Um, this lace is normally like a light cream color and I was able to tea dye it. And so that's how it looked afterwards. That's lace number five. I used two strips of it and I um, st uh, stacked them just like this to give them a really cool um, look. And then over here I have a flower that I created. Um, this lace that I used is actually um, part of her wide, her wide lace. Let me just move over here and show you. So this is the lace that I used to make that flower and it's a VL026. And so what I did was I was able to cut it up into um, equal part squares and then I used it to make the flower. Um, so that's what's over here with a flat back pearl. And then under the flower, I created a sash using um, D's. She's, she has a lot of thinner trims in her shop, so I was able to use them to create this sash. And so I'll just um, read off the list of all the ones that I used real quick. I used the Natural Crochet Lace VL016, which is this one. And all of them I pretty much cut in half. Um, then I used VL012, VL018, VL005, VL003, and VL009. So they're all here for you to see closer. So for example, this one I just cut down the middle and used. This one I didn't have to cut. So I was able to use all of these laces for the sash. And then I also used this one for the sash, and I, was, I just cut it into three. So I, I separated these three parts. And then in the center here, um, I have this beautiful angel image that I um, had in my stash. And the white rough lace underneath is T012. And I, I loved it because it gave it this cloud effect. And then I put... Um, cream colored paper rose in the center. This is musical sheet paper that I had in my stash so I just um, ripped it up randomly and decoupaged it and stained it a little bit. Um, this paper violin was also part of the same stash. This flower I made with the same lace that I used here on the inner frame. Um, so I just made a little flower down here. And here is the um, resin cherub that I used on my frame. So this is what it looks like when you first get it. So I just left it natural. Um, it did have a little middle hook on top so that you could make a charm. So I was just able to take that out. And then over here, I took more of my papers and just arranged them so that they looked like scrolls. And this is more of that wide lace that I showed you. And I just... Um, roughed it up a little bit and then I took some more of it and lined the bottom. I forgot to mention but also in the sash I cut up some of the rhinestone trim and put it in there so that if I wanted to um, leave the box open the light would really catch on that and it would just be really really pretty. Okay and then what I did here um, on this um, on the lip of the box. I put more of the um, beige crochet lace and I love how the, because the paper's darker, it, it the design just stands out and I really liked how that looked. Um, I had a couple of these filigree pieces also that I got from D, and um, I just folded them on the bottom so that if I wanted to stand it up, I could. So let me just pan out a little bit so you can see. So that's my shadow box. And I love the way all of the laces look together. You know, I was a little concerned how the overall effect would be, but 
I just think it looks so vintage and, and shabby and beautiful and breathtaking. So you need to go to Dee's store and check out everything she has and get some vintage lace before they're all sold up. And um, just real quick, I'm going to show you up close the different laces that I was able to use. So they are gorgeous, just on their own, just to display. Okay, everyone, well, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and you will be hearing from me soon. Take care.